In the previous videos, we talked about the seven or eight important financial goals. In the following video, we talked about smart goals, prioritization of goals as high priority goals, medium priority goals and low priority goals. This video is the most important video. In case if you have not seen the previous videos, please watch the previous videos and come to this particular video. Now you are going to take a paper and pen and you are going to create a 3 by 3 matrix. Yes friends, you are going to create a 3 by 3 matrix. What is this 3 by 3 matrix? Very very simple. You are going to classify all the goals as short term, medium term and long term. Those are the three columns. Short term, medium term and long term. Similarly, you are going to create three rows, which is called very high priority, medium priority and low priority. So that means what happens is all you are, let's say 10 goals or 15 goals that you have, the financial goals that you have, you have to put it in this three by three matrix. Once you put this three by three matrix, what happens is when I say short term, for some people short term can be one year, for some people the short term can be three years. For some people can be short term can be five years. Similarly for medium term for some people it can be one to five years or it could be something like you know three to seven years or for some people it could be five to ten years. For some of the people long term goals is anything more than three years or anything more than five years or anything more than ten years. So depending upon your current age let's say your age is let's say just 25. If your age is just 25 what you could do is you could bucket short term as let's say zero to five medium term as like anywhere between 5 to 10 and something like 10 and above can be one classification. Let's say you are 35 years of age, then I would say your short term can be let's say 1 to 3, then I can say 3 to 5 and then more than 5. Because what happens is at the age of 35, what will happen is there are too many goals which will start coming up. Let's assume that you are at 35 and your son or daughter is let's say it's about 10 years. What will happen is the kids education will come in about 7 to 8 years. So you should plan for that. So that's why the duration will change. Similarly, let's assume that like you, know, you are 55 or something like that. Then what will happen is short term can be like you know, it can be just saying that it could be just one year and medium term can be one to three years and long term can be anything more than three years because at the time of let's say 55 what will happen is you want to create that retirement corpus kitty in a matter of one two or three years. Now what will happen is once you know this short term and medium term and long term we will be talking about whether you should be saving or whether you should be investing what kind of risks. So keep watching this particular playlist and keep watching this video once or twice you will get more clarity.